Hello everyone, my name is Aiden and today I will explain about ski tail cryptography. First of all, I will talk about the origin. Ski tail cryptography is the most aged cryptography made in about 450 BC, ancient Greece. It was used in Sparta during war 2500 years ago. There is a stick that is called the ski tail. The army at Sparta would both have the ski tail, which had both the same thickness. It is called the ski tail cryptography because of the stick or the ski tail, which does a significant act when decoding the code. This is about the method of the ski tail cryptography. A ribbon would be twisted along the ski tail. Then the message to be encrypted would be written horizontally. In this case, I wrote down ski tail cryptography, but since there was no space, the Y does not show. After that, the ribbon is to be removed from the ski tail and, is, and it will show the letters S, E, O, and so on, which is not readable by the glass. However, if we wrap it along the ski tail again, it shows the message ski tail cryptography again. In this case, it can also be expressed by a 6 times 6 chart like the below. The green line shows the thickness of the ski tail and is also the number of rows in the chart. This is the key to solve these types of codes. Now the code is to be written vertically, top to down, left to right. Now if you lay the now, if you read the letters to, in this chart, horizontally, left to right, you can see that it's written ski tail cryptography. Now, I will use this chart to program the system. One thing that is important to remember is to not get confused between present s and present t in print s and scan s. I had to program for an extra 20 minutes because of the coding errors from this. Now I'll explain the code I programmed. The starter function, which is, which is in the front, is used right in the beginning to get the mode, and it's just named the starter since it is in the start. The function is to input the mode, which tells what function to play. This do while loop is just a simple loop to get the functions to work. It will break out when the mode mentioned before becomes 3, which is inputted. The size MST is the number of characters in the variable MST. I gave value to it by Esterlin. The size of MST is limited to 70, but to know the exact size, I made size MST. Size J is the horizontal size of the ski tail chart. Size J is used in the center, cent, used in the second square brackets of the chart. The num is going to be used to track, to track the number that will go in MSG's square brackets. The second dimensional 
variable name chart is the same chart I was talking about, which is boxed with red. This double for loop is to put the characters in MST into the chart horizontally to encrypt. This double loop is to print out the results reading the chart for the GUI. Decryption and Decryption and encryption are not really different in the beginning. However, they differ in the two double for loops when the i and j change places. This is to make horizontal to vertical and vertical to horizontal. Last but not least, I'll show the results. The result was very good. I tested using A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, O, P with the key 4. As you see, the result matches the chart above. Thanks for watching and have a good day.